this verse is so powerful for you. So, when can you read this verse? Yes, workers of faith. The right time for you to read this verse. It is at 9 o'clock at night before you go to sleep. Because number 9, number 9 is a number of the end. That means that your day has ended. Hello, workers of faith. Welcome to my channel, Works of Faith, where we believe that everything it is possible, where we believe that we can do everything and transform everything through our faith. Yes, workers of faith, where we believe that we can embrace our faith and our faith can help us. That faith that is coming from God, that is with God, that we can control everything. So thank you, workers of faith, for watching this video. Please, if you are new here, do subscribe. Yes, and for my subscribers, my retainers, thank you so much for watching this video. And for you to read this verse, workers of faith, you are cleansing all, everything that has happened during the day. Your thoughts, facing many people, Everything because of faith, you are cleansing it away with this verse. Isaiah 54, verse 17, because of faith. It is powerful. And I'm about to read it right now, because of faith. I'm holding my Bible. It is New King James Vision. You can read any, any that you have, because of faith, any vision. It doesn't matter. Yes, let me read it, because of faith. It says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. This is so powerful. This verse is so powerful for you. So, when can you read this verse? Yes, workers of faith. The right time for you to read this verse. It is at nine o'clock at night before you go to sleep. Because number nine, number nine is a number of the end. That means that your day has ended. And for you to read this verse, workers of faith, you are cleansing all, everything that has happened during the day. Your thoughts, facing many people, everything, workers of faith, you are cleansing it away with this verse. It must become your ways. It must become your, your routine, workers of faith. You must not go to bed, workers of faith, with the old things. You must start a new day, workers of faith, with the new things. Every day, you must be a new creation so that the joy should come in the morning for your life. That is why I told you, workers of faith, that if you can perform this in your life, become your lifestyle or your routine, workers of faith, your life will be so prosperous, workers of faith, because you know when to let it go. You will know when to cleanse and, and say that I'm ending this, I'm becoming a new thing. The old things, they have, they have gone, workers of faith. Anyone, if they have upset you during the day, it is going to be easy for you to forgive them, workers of faith, because you are saying the word of God and you are saying this powerful verse, workers of faith, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So many things, workers of faith, like weapons. Weapons can be anything, workers of faith. This verse does not exactly mean literally. Weapons can be so many things. So these weapons, workers of faith, they have the types because I believe this, uh, what the word of God, workers of faith, it does not mean literally. It means that be aware that there are weapons in your life. You can create your, the weapons against yourself because of faith. Those negative thoughts that you think about yourself, negative thoughts against, uh, that you think that, that the situation is going against you. And another type of weapon that you should be aware of because of faith, that people can gossip about you in a negative way. People can mention your name while they are speaking low vibrational things. They wish you bad because of faith. They wish you to fail because of faith. There are so many weapons because of faith. I cannot even mention them here, but you know, maybe you understand. I was just telling you to be aware of those weapons, that you should be aware and take action against that weapon because of faith, that they are going straight to your life and destroy your life. Your tongue, yourself, you can destroy your, your life. You can be a weapon against yourself in your life because of faith. What are you creating every day? What are you wishing others? What are you saying towards yourself? Yes, workers of faith. Those are the weapons. So this verse, workers of faith, it is for that. For you to know that. Leave the things that tend, uh, tend to be a weapon in your life or be aware of the things that can be a weapon into your life. So, reading this verse every night after nine, before you go to sleep, it's a cleansing, workers of faith. It's a cleansing itself. It's a starting afresh and being in power and in control because you are taking in charge in your life, workers of faith, by reading this verse every night before you go to sleep. You are saying, I'm allowing, I understand, I cannot control what they did to me, I cannot control 
what has happened. They have accused me. They talked about me negatively. I cannot control. Even maybe you don't know, but there must be someone out there that is speaking against you because of faith. The reason why we sh you should read this verse because of faith, Isaiah 54 verse 17 every night, is that because of faith, you are agreeing with God. Yes, you are agreeing with God. You are saying that, yes, amen, it is done. I am going according to your will. Yes, because of faith. You are saying that to the, to the divine, to God. And it is powerful. Everything that comes from God, everything that it is coming from God because of faith or what God is saying towards you, it is the truth. It is the truth because of faith. So what I love about this verse going forward after the, this verse saying, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It says, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. That's what I've said because of faith. Like you don't know what people are saying about you. You don't know your thoughts, whether they are going to come against you or what you are saying is going to come against you. So going again down because of faith, when you say, and every tongue, which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This verse, when you read it, you read it intentionally with the, 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 the will of destroying everything that you thought that was going to come against you, you are condemning it, you are cancelling it. Like, I, like, like That is why I said it's a cleansing itself. So, a of faith, that is the truth that is coming from God, that is coming from the divine. It is the truth, a of faith, that every tongue which rises against you, you have the power. To condemn it yes because of faith and it is continuing saying this it is the heritage of the servant of the lord you can hear that because of faith that is a gift a free gift that is coming from god god it, god knows that no weapon from the you shall prosper knows it is the truth there is no other way around so for you to repeat this because of faith continuously every day every night before you go to sleep especially after nine o'clock you are confessing you are still saying that this is the truth you are still activating that power of God saying this, the truth of God saying that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I'm telling you, because of faith, the worries, the doubts in your life, anything that is that is not of God is going to disappear because you are embracing the truth. You are no longer confused. Tomorrow you are fearful. During the day you are doubtful, but you are always going. It's going to stay in your subconscious because you are going to do it every night before you go to sleep at nine o'clock. So you're going to receive it, because of faith. And when you read this verse, because of faith, Isaiah 54 verse 17, make sure that because of faith, you are reading it consciously. You are being consciously. You are aware, because of faith. You are aware of the words and what the words they are saying. And also, because of faith, what are they making you feel? How do you feel when you read it? Because the word of God itself will make you happy, regardless what it, what does it say, because of faith. It is the word of God. It is the truth, because of faith. So read it, because of faith, to change your life, for you to prosper, because of faith, for you to conquer everything, because of faith. And this will also help you, because of faith. This verse will also help you not to live in fear, because of faith, that this might happen. What if something happened? Because you are going to say it before you're going to sleep. You're going to confess this verse, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yes, I'm, I was wanting to tell you, because of faith, make this verse personally. Especially verse 17, when it, where it is studying, you're going to say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yes, God said that. But now you are making it like God was talking to you personally. Yes, because of faith, you're going to feel it. You're going to own it. And you're going to feel so very fulfilled because it is the truth that is going straight to you. You're going to make it personally. And you're going to continue again and say, and every time which rises against me in judgment, I shall condemn. Yes, because of faith. And continue again, because of faith, till it's going to end. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord that is giving you that thing, that assurity that this is coming from God. This is a gift. God said this, and God cannot go against what he said. It's a gift that is coming from God that no weapon from the against you shall prosper. And also you can, can, you can condemn any child that can rises against you. It is a gift. You can continue again, because of faith, and say, and my righteousness is from God. Yes, because of faith, that is so powerful for you to own it, to make it yours. Yes, because of faith, this is powerful. Read it every night before you go to sleep, especially after 9 o'clock. That is powerful. Be conscious, be aware. Be aware that you are reading the word of God and sense how you feel. Sense how you feel. If you are still feeling like you are the same, continue read it because the word of God itself, it's powerful. It, it, it is transforming itself, even if you are not seeing or hearing you can read it three times confess it and say that 
Amen. After that, it is done. It is. And, th and give thanksgiving. Workers of faith, I'm telling you, your life can, will be transformed immediately when you start doing this workers of faith. Your life will be transformed because the word of God is a transformer itself. Okay, workers of faith, this video will end here. I hope you heard and you are already transformed because I have used the word of God, the word of the truth, workers of faith, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember Isaiah 54 verse 17. Read that, that verse, all of it. Make it personally. Every night before you go to sleep, I'm telling you workers of faith, you will be prosperous.